Hi, my name is Guy Shingleton. I'm the creator of the Colorado Bee Vac and also operate Colorado Bee Rescue. I started selling these in 2010. Um, and since that time, I've sold close to a thousand now. So it's been remarkably successful with beekeepers uh, at all skill levels, from brand new beginners to guys that have been doing cutouts for uh, many years. Some of the things that the beekeepers have really enjoyed or liked about the bee vacuum have been the capacity using the tin frame. It's a standard tin frame hive body box that we use as the catch box. It has probably the largest capacity as far as holding the bees, easily 10 pounds of bees. Uh, so uh, a pretty large removal or very large swarm. I've never filled up one with the swarm as far as the capacity is concerned. So most of the, like the bucket vacuums and that have about a third the capacity of our catch box. The other good thing is that with the uh, length of the box that there's no bee splat to worry about because they're not coming in hard enough to bounce back uh, or bounce off the back side of the catch box. Some beekeepers have talked about putting uh, foam insulation or foam on the back of the box, uh, but the bees don't hit the back of the catch box for two good reasons. One, the size of the catch box, and then as far as the vacuum is concerned, you have an adjustment of the vacuum pressure with this little ball valve that you see here on the front. By opening and closing this ball valve, if it's all the way open, you have no vacuum pressure. But as you continue to increase the, or uh, close the ball valve, your vacuum pressure will increase in the hose. So you can suck uh, bees through a, 10, 20, 30 foot hose if you need to. Um, the other good thing about this is that I incorporated the pegboard to distribute the vacuum pressure across the whole top of the catch box. That way you don't have the vacuums being sucked into one particular spot. As far as the catch box is concerned, the vacuum pressure is spread out over the entire catch box. So when you open or inspect the bees, maybe during the removal, you may find them uh, probably most often gathered towards the back of the box, but I've also opened it where they've been collected in uh, a corner of the catch box. If you're lucky enough to vacuum up the queen, it kind of depends on where the queen is located in the catch box. They will uh, gather around her as well. So the distribution of the va vacuum pressure. It comes with the uh, 10 foot hose, the deep 10 frame catch box. If you have eight frame equipment, just let me know when you order the vacuum. I have a simple adapter. It's free upon request and be happy to provide that uh, to you. But to you get the 10 frame deep catch box, uh, the vacuum top, and that's all included in what we call the combo. Typically, the first request is for a longer vacuum hose. Uh, however you buy it, you get instructions that include how you can buy a longer, uh, up to a 50-foot hose. And I've cut a 50-foot into a 20 and a 30 that I carry in my bee trailer uh, that I do removals for. So I always travel with 20, 30, and a 10 or 15-foot hose. Um, I use the 10 foot the most, but the 20 and 30 foot come in handy uh, if the swarm happens to be located in a tree and that I'm not trying to pack this up a ladder or anything. It sits on the ground uh, while um, we're doing the vacuuming. So as long as you keep the hose, what I call 
uh, straight um, so that you don't just like it is sitting here on the table. You don't want to have uh, any curls in the hose, that sort of thing, because then the bees will write the outside of the hose. But I try to encourage beekeepers to, when they're using the vacuum, have the vacuum uh, approximately eight feet away from the removal so that the hose is basically a straight line from where you're vacuuming into the catch box. Uh, that'll help uh, reduce any uh, fatalities as far as the bees are concerned. Uh, uh, not on eBay or Amazon, but I do sell direct the vacuum top by itself uh, as a replacement unit. Usually when the guys have burned it out, I know some uh, beekeepers run these things eight, ten hours a day doing removals. Uh, one of the more common uh, individual sales is the catch box. I sell the catch box just as it is here by itself. I sell the Colorado Bee Vacuum uh, three different ways, uh, direct from me. You can purchase the vacuum and also individual pieces at our website, coloradobeerescue.com. That's coloradobeerescue.com. It's also found on eBay and Amazon. Uh, you can just uh, search Colorado BVAC and those sources will pop up as well. It is a little bit cheaper if you buy it from me than buying it from eBay and Amazon. If you have any additional questions, do give me a call or you can uh, email me. Thanks for watching.